Minecraft has a lot of biomes, and it uses something called the multi-noise biome source to place them. And today, we're going to be going over everything you need to know about the multi-noise biome source. As a quick disclaimer, everything in this video will be on Java Edition, but the majority of it will be true on Bedrock as well, and we're going to be using Java Edition 1.21.4. The game uses Perlin noise to place biomes. If you don't know what Perlin noise is, here's a quick explanation. Noise is a method of generating pseudo-random numbers for procedural generation. Since Perlin noises create smooth graphs, it creates realistic, natural-looking environments, perfect for the train and biomes of Minecraft. Basically, it's what we call RNG. For every seed, the game calculates a bunch of values for every coordinate. This is how, if you load the same seed, you always get the same biome and the same blocks in the same spots. Noise affects everything from where coarse dirt, grass, and stone are placed in windswept savannas, to where caves and floating islands are placed, and of course, where biomes are placed. If we open up our debug screen, we can see the noise router and biome builder lines. These include the noise variables used to determine where biomes are placed. There are seven noise variables that range from minus two to positive two that determine where biomes are placed. These are temperature, vegetation, continentalness, erosion, depth, and weirdness. And the seventh is linked directly to weirdness and is peaks and valleys. And it's used in determining where rivers and hills are placed. The last two variables on the noise router are density and final density, which aren't directly related to biome placement, but just determine whether a block is solid or not upon world generation. Essentially, the game uses a six-dimensional space to place biomes. Don't worry if that sounds overwhelming, I'll simplify it. These variables don't directly reflect real-world concepts. For example, a high humidity value doesn't necessarily mean there will be more water, deserts might be the most humid value on the map, while a deep ocean might be the driest. Instead, the game uses specific thresholds for certain biomes. For example, swamps can only generate if the erosion value is at least 0.55. Each biome builder value represents a range of noise values. In the cases of continents and peaks and valleys, the biome builder even uses human readable terms. For example, deep ocean determines a continentalness value between minus 1.05 and minus 0.455, and that means a deep ocean will be placed there. Each noise router variable corresponds to a biome builder variable. For example, the noise temperature determines the temperature biome builder value. There are two exceptions, and they are vegetation, which determine the humidity value, and peaks and valleys, which, as stated before, is derived from the weirdness value. Outside of weirdness, a specific set of biome builder values corresponds to exactly one surface biome. However, while some biomes are limited to a specific biome builder key value pair, for example, deserts can only generate in a temperature value of 4, other biomes like plains have many different sets of values where they can generate. Here's a breakdown of what the seven noise variables do. Temperature is responsible for placing hot and cold biomes, like deserts and ice plains. However, it doesn't directly influence the biome's temperature. For example, tigers can generate in temperature values of zero, while snowy slopes can generate in temperatures of up to two. Humidity is responsible for placing dry or lush biomes, like plains or dense forests. Because these values are extreme, you won't find these biomes generating next to each other. Continentalness is responsible for determining whether or not an area will be flooded, and places biomes like oceans and land biomes. Additionally, it indirectly determines where certain cave biomes are placed, but we'll get to that another time. Erosion affects the height of the terrain, and it also affects certain biomes. For example, high erosion values generate hills and swamps, while lower value erosions generate mountain ranges and fjords. Weirdness determines which biome variant is placed, for example, determining regular versus tall birch forests. It also influences the peaks and valleys, which determine where mountain peaks, plateaus, and rivers are placed. And finally, depth is tied directly to the distance to the surface, and is the only variable which changes depending on your Y value, and its job is to place cave biomes. You can actually use the biomes around you to figure out where other biomes may be located. For example, since each variable is a spectrum, and since temperature directly influences the kind of ocean, Finding a regular ocean and then a lukewarm ocean is a good indicator that there might be a warm ocean. Because of this, you can also use this to find other biomes like deserts, pale gardens, or cherry groves. Another example is that shattered biomes, which generate an erosion 5, generally indicate that there is a swamp nearby, since they generate an erosion 6. The more extreme the parameter is for a specific biome, the less likely it is to generate. For example, mushroom islands require a continentalness value of under minus 1.05 to generate, which makes them pretty uncommon. I'm planning in the future to make a deep dive on each noise variable, so let me know in the comments which ones you'd like to see first. 
Also, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to leave a like as it helps support the channel and hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos like this. Anyways, let's get back to the video. But what would happen if there were fewer than six noise values? Here's a world I generated with only one noise variable, temperature. The problem is, while it makes it so that deserts and badlands can never generate right next to ice biomes, they're always in small circle areas and generate next to jungles. Adding a new variable, humidity, makes it so there is more clear variation of biome placement. However, swamps and plains can generate high up, and hill biomes might be completely flat. Adding erosion solves this. Now mountains will generate in low erosion areas, while swamps and plains will generally be in flat areas. But we still have a problem. Mountain peaks and rivers are considered the same biome. Let's add peaks and valleys for a distinction. And based on positive and negative weirdness values, which determine the peaks and values, we can determine biome variance. Finally, let's add continentalness for ocean biomes. In vanilla, erosion and temperature have a larger gradient, so the distance between the extremes of those, like hot and cold biomes, will generally generate thousands of blocks away. Meanwhile, weirdness has a very small gradient, which makes it so biome variants generate near each other. Sometimes, due to the smoothness of gradient noise, visible biome bands are placed. This effect was especially noticeable in the single noise world. This is caused by the different noise requirements of each biome. Each time the noise passes a threshold, a different biome is placed. This is why, oftentimes, the same sequence of biomes often generates next to each other. While terrain elevation doesn't directly affect what surface biome is placed, some of the same variables that affect biomes also affect the terrain height. Continentalness mainly deals with whether or not the terrain is below sea level, while erosion affects terrain above sea level, and peaks and valleys is responsible for placing hills and rivers locally. In the world generated without continentalness, large flooded areas still generated because the terrain height was still being influenced by it, while the biome placement simply ignored it. Anyways guys, that is about it for this one, but if you want to check out any of the tools I used in making this video, check out the links in the video descriptions and I will list them there. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching, and goodbye!